Hey everybody and welcome to Archery 101. This week at Archery 101 we have our first guest appearance. Paul Helms is going to show us how to make a radial flu flu arrow. It's Paul. I'm uh, shooting a little video for Greg, uh, how I'll make my flu flu arrows. I got the idea from a guy named Matt off of one of the traditional sites and I uh, figured I'd try it. I got three of them. I'll post videos up of that. But uh, he wanted this to uh, put on his page for uh, information purposes and uh, I'm glad to do so. So first thing you're going to need is a couple errors. I'm doing Eastern Legacies right now. It's just extra errors I got. Went ahead and stripped them down, cleaned them up. Uh, synthetic turkey feathers. Use a whole one that's been uncut. And I have wraps. I always try to use wraps on whatever I build. Just helps the glue stick better. Now I'm going to use the flow cover for high visibility. Uh, easier to find if I was to lose my air in the woods or whatnot. So, first thing you want to do is strip your arrows down. And once you get that up, clean them up with some uh, alcohol or whatever you choose to use. I just scraped the feathers off and just wiped them down real good. I hadn't cleaned them on anything, and uh, they're holding, the last ones are holding up pretty good. So start off, you take your wrap, peel the back off. And I just like to lay mine flat down on the counter. And I'll take my arrow and I'll line it up as center as I can. So it looks like this right here. And then I'll lay it down flat on the counter and I'll roll it to one side until the end sticks to the arrow like this. And I'll go ahead and I'll make sure that that's stuck all the way down. You want that edge to lay flat. Don't try to bend it around because you'll create air bubbles, but you want that edge to sit flat on that arrow. And then you just take and finish rolling it around until the two ends meet. And you'll have that right there and just finish that end like you did the first end and make sure it's stuck all the way down. Then you have one installed wrap. I'm going to go ahead and do all. Next thing you're going to need the pair of scissors and I like to take you see you got a thick end of this and it gets thinner as it goes down well that end right there is going to be brittle and break so I cut off a little bit while I still got that white edge and I'll take and I'll start at the tip of it and I'll grab it like this and I'll just go around my finger trying to break down that spine of that feather a little bit to where it's not so brittle like it's going to go around the arrow and I'll do that a couple times and then you got something that looks similar to that well we're gonna start with the fat end right here and we're gonna put a dab of super glue on there Once you get your little dab of super glue, I always put a nail on top of mine that way it don't dry up on me. You'll we'll take your first arrow. What you want to do is you want to start about, I don't know, about a half inch from the top. And I put it on there like that. And I let it sit up. I 
I try to use super glue instead of fletch tight because it dries almost instantly. It takes a minute or two to get it set up and ready. But when it sets up, you're good to go. And what I try to do is I try to put it on there with the feather at an angle to the wrap. So when you're wrapping it, it uh it kind of goes on like baseball tape on a handle of a bat. And it wraps real smooth around there and you have the same gap between each wrap down the feather. And once I get that set up right, what I'll do is I'll take and I'll run a bead of super glue down the spine of that feather. About three quarters of the way, almost all the way. If it gets a little messy, it's okay. It's not supposed to be pretty. It'll still function just fine. You get that going up right there up to be that feather. Put a paper towel down so your wife don't kill you when it drops on the counter like mine might do this evening. <laughs> and once you get that ready like that. Wipe the super glue up so your wife don't kill you first. And then you'll take the end of this feather right here and you'll hold it and you'll start spinning like this. When you hear it start to crack, I stop and I let that set up just like that. Kind of like I did in the beginning with the uh, with the first initial part of the feather. You let that set up. And it looks like this right now, but once we space our feathers out, it'll look like the ones in the shooting video. You can kind of go ahead and start separating them as you're letting this thing set up. Once you get to the end to where it's kind of set up, you'll have this little extra hanging off the end. You can try to keep going around with it a little bit, put a little more super glue on it. Finish that wrap around right there. Hold that and let it keep setting up. That end will get brittle if you try to wrap it all around at one time. If you let some of this glue to start set up down the arrow, it'll kind of st you know stabilize a little bit. You just keep separating them feathers as it's drying, or you can wait till after it dries. It doesn't really matter. have something that looks like this when you turn it toward the wind you have all that wind resistance you're going to catch right there and it's really going to slow that air down for you i've got a video i'm going to post up or let greg post up that i shot and uh at 15 yards they're grouping awesome and past 15 yards they start to drop like a rock so but that's what they're made for they're made to uh be short range errors for aerial targets or whatever so take your scissors in the end that little piece that's sticking off and just cut it make sure that where you cut it at's got some glue to hold on to that'll help one with noise 
with wind catching that little piece sticking up and two it'll help if it's to dig in the ground it won't rip your feathers off so that is about it took me what with all my talking and everything about five six minutes maybe so uh you get the hang of it you can save yourself a whole lot of money trying to buy flu flu airs all right i hope you enjoyed it and uh any questions just comment on greg's video or uh you can get a hold to me if you want to uh, greg will give you the information to my youtube page and uh we'll help you out best way we can thank you all right everybody there you have it you know how i met paul was on facebook he posted some pictures of it how he made them and he showed some videos you know i don't use flu flus i think they're cool and i would like to use them and I always seen the radios and I go, wow, that's pretty simple to make. And I asked him, hey, would you do me a favor and make a video for Archery 101? You know, that's what it's about. It's, if you've seen the, the trailer video, it's archers helping archers. And I want to get different people. If you know something I don't, let me know and I'll see, you know, see what you got. And Paul did a great job. So, Paul, thank you so much for contributing to Archery 101. All right, boys and girls, you know the deal. If you like the video, give Paul a thumbs up. If not, don't give him a thumbs down. Just don't click anything. If you got a question or a comment, put it down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next week with an all-new episode of Archery 101.